Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. Of course, it's Wednesday. New review day here on the channel. This latest release from a very cool band from Austin, Texas. They've been around for a little while. they got a whole bunch of albums and EPs and things. They're now on uh, Century Media Records. The band is called Spirit Adrift. The album is Ghost at the Gallows. Pretty serious stuff here. Um, I had reviewed an earlier album of theirs in like 2017, I believe, for our webzine. And I remember the time thinking these guys were pretty much a doom band. And this is the first album I've heard from them since that time. So we took looking at six years. And listening to this and even going back and re-listening to that earlier record, I'm like, yeah, it's got some doomy elements, but I wouldn't call these guys a doom band. This is more of just like, they call themselves, we are heavy metal, right? They're just like Motorhead. We are rock and roll, spirit adrift. We are just a metal band. Just classic heavy metal, not progressive metal, not power metal, not doom metal, not thrash metal, not black metal, death metal, whatever, right? Sub-Zero metal, hospital metal, you know, whatever. They just play heavy metal. And I can kind of see that, right? The players, Nate Garrett, the main guy. Vocals, lead and rhythm guitar, bass, percussion, Michael Arellano on drums, and uh, Tom Draper on lead guitar. Um, all the songs written by Nate, <coughs> recorded from the uh, Autumn Equinox through All Hallows' Eve in 2022. Produced by Nate, Jeff Henson, and Stafford, Sanford Parker. Drums recorded at Electrical Audio in Chicago, Illinois. Everything else recorded at Red Nova Ranch in Cedar Creek, Texas by Jeff Henson. Uh, mix and mastered by Zeus. Yeah, artwork by Jeremy Hush. <sighs> this is really good. Really good. Um, I, I've actually had to record this video three times because I just, I'm having a really hard time describing and saying what I want to say about this band because, again, you, you really can't use a lot of these other little subgenres and things like that because they don't fit neatly into any of them. The guitar work and the way the guitars are produced, both the rhythms, the riffs, and the leads are amazing. This, to me, and the vocals, are his vocals are outstanding as well. It kind of sounds like a, a sort of a little bit at times like James Hetfield meets uh, Chuck Billy, but probably, but different than both. Um, I'd ar argue that maybe he's got a, a nicer voice than either two of those two guys, but it's definitely a metal voice for sure. Uh, the guitar work is stellar throughout uh one song in particular i keep coming back to is siren of the south track number seven on here there's eight tracks most of the songs are like four and a half to seven eight minutes long where some of the riffing man the way it's recorded and then just the nature of the riffs and how heavy they are and just um you know and not complicated riffs but uh the way it's laid out Reminds me of like some of the great riffs of Metallica's and Justice for All album. In fact, there is, there is a Bay Area thrash thing going on within this band on this album, but this music isn't thrash. It's I think it's more the way the riffs are laid out and the way they're produced. You know, you hear little bits of Metallica, little bits of uh, like Testament, that sort of thing, but nothing on here is, you know, rip your throat out thrash stuff. A lot of mid paced stuff on here. There's an epicness to the music which I think is really cool. There's a Swedish sound to this to this band, which is just kind of kind of strange because they're a Texas band. Uh, and some of the way that the ways that the um, the riffs are kind of like intertwined and arranged. There's like this weird like Merciful Fate meets Metallica meets Thin Lizzy thing going on. Like especially like uh, some of the early. I mean, there's definitely a Thin Lizzy influence on this album too. Like uh, Give It to the River and uh, Barn Burner, the two tracks that kick off the album very cool the way the the riffs and the kind of harmony leads and things kind of go around each other very very cool uh hangman's revenge is another cool song what else we got here these two hands uh death won't stop me i shall return siren of the south like i mentioned in the last track ghost of the gallus title track really cool gloomy right but it's not doom it's just classic metal Right. Really good stuff. This band is tremendously good, and I need to explore more of their material because I really like this a lot. I love the vocals. The songs are memorable. The riffs are terrific. The solos are good. It's, it, what's not to like here? I mean, uh, a lot of people are talking about this band. There's a reason. Spirit Adrift, Ghost of the Gallows, Century Media Records. Check it out. Uh, you know, Easy 4 out of 5 star, maybe even 4.5. 
right? We'll see how uh, as time goes on here. But uh, excellent, excellent stuff. Go check it out. If you've already heard it, let us know what you think down in the comments below. If not, go listen. Come back. They've got a Bandcamp page. Let me uh, give you that. It is spiritadrift.bandcamp.com. As always, I will put the uh, link down below so you guys can go check it out. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alerted all our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below in the video description, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page for all sorts of cool Sea Tranquility stuff, and our Cameo page for personalized uh, videos from myself. So thanks in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you real soon here with more stuff. I am P. Pardo. Have a good day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.